welcome back to my channel. It's me, Zoe, and yeah, so uh, in today's video, I did some shopping, which I'm pretty sure I said in the past few hauls that I'm going to slow down on the shopping, which I have. I haven't really gone shopping. Um, well, this month I've done a little bit of shopping, but in January, I really didn't do much shopping at all. Um, and after this, I, again, <laughs> plan to not go shopping very much um, unless there's a really good sale. Um, but still, just in general. So, yeah, I got stuff from Pink, um, as well as Victoria's Secret, Bath & Works, and I got, like, a perfume and a hair product from TJ Maxx. So, yes. Also, like, I was taking my thunder picture, and I feel like I don't look like myself because I put, like, lower lash mascara on, which I literally never do. Um, I was trying to see how it looks, and I feel like I just look weird with it. I, I know I don't look, like, ugly or weird, um... Or you know what I mean, but like, like it, it just, I don't, I don't like how it looks <laughs> on me. It's like throwing me off, but it's okay. Um, anyways, yeah, let's get started. We'll do the hair product and the perfume from TJ Maxx first. Um, yeah. So basically, the hair product is the TGIN Miracle Repair Curl Food Curl Food Daily Moisturizer. This is on clearance for six dollars. Now, to put this in perspective, um, the protein hair mask is in literally the exact same packaging same bottle color same like type of label and stuff and i saw that it was like i don't know 13 dollars. yeah that one was like 12.99 i think and i was like well i found it for six why don't i just get the six dollar one in clearance it wasn't the same thing which makes sense now um <laughs> but uh yeah Anyways, I just wanted something to use as a hair mask, and looking at this, um, I have, like, fine hair, so that, like, texture of a moisturizer is way too thick for my hair in the first place, so I think I will just use this as a hair mask in the shower anyways, because it, it's just as a curl moisturizer, so it's moisturizing, which means I could certainly use it as a hair mask, so <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I wish I got the protein treatment, though, because I thought... That my hair probably needs a protein treatment um because i've never done a protein tre treatment and i don't think any of my products have protein in them so um yeah i don't know that might be the problem over here hasn't been um staying as curly as it normally is because it's not it's usually a little curly than this and less wavy um but yeah so anyways <laughs> i got the wrong thing but that's fine so i'll still use it in the same way but the perfume i got which i'm actually excited about is philosophies Falling in Love. I'm not going to read the whole thing on there, but this is the two ounce Eau de Toilette. This was $14.99, but I already took off the, like, the outer, uh, the outer plastic packaging. So, yeah. So, this is the same size as, like, the Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. Um, and then also, um, this one, the Pure Grey Silver Moments, which I really, really love. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It The liquid is a light blue. Really pretty, like almost rainy day vibes. And they did spray it on like the thing right here. And um, I like the windows before, before I bought it. And it has like blackberry. It has like a fresh and clean, like a soft, fresh and clean. And then also like a fresh blackberry. Up. But also like a, I don't know, like a, I don't know. It's like fresh and clean, but very soft, not like <laughs> weird, you know what I mean? So yeah, I don't know. It'll be perfect for spring in my opinion. It also pretty good for summer, but yeah, I feel like is that showing up the right way? I'm not sure, but <sighs> anyways, yeah, <laughs> got that. Then we'll move on to my Beth Meyer stuff. So I only got a few things that are having there. I believe it was $3.95 soaps. Um, one dollar. I got enough sleep last night. Like literally every time I start filming, I have to yawn. But whatever. Um, they had one dollar pocket bags, three ninety five soaps, I believe, and three fifty sanitizer sprays. So I got some pocket bags and I redeemed a free reward. So with my free reward um, on the app, I had six ninety five. So I decided to get a new um, wallflower scent control club. So. Got this one. I thought it was cute. The marble and the wood grain. This is scent control and it was $14.95 so perfect for in the price range of this. I was going to get another candle holder but the 
one I was looking at was like one that was I don't know why. The one I was looking at was like one that was not separated from the ground, which I have. One that has like all the ones I have are far off the ground or at least have like a little block of something under it, um, which I like. I don't want the ones just sitting on my um, desk because I don't, I like to have it a little height for some reason, just <laughs> for aesthetics, I guess. But yeah, so I didn't get that one, but um, I did get this. So very happy with that. And then I got three pocket bags. Two were for my friend. Um, she wanted vanilla. So I got her two warm vanilla sugar pocket bags where I got myself. A sunlit palm trees pocket bag. Um, yeah, I don't, they don't have the scent in body care, so I'm not really sure the notes are, but it smells orangey, maybe a little pineapple y and grapefruit. It smells really good. So, very happy with that one. Okay, <sighs> before I yawn my life away, let's continue. Um, we'll do the Notorious Secret first. Um, they were having their leftover semi annual sale stuff was $6.99 and then their the rest of the sale was all body care, $6 body care and natural beauty body care as well, I think. Or it was just a mist, I'm not really sure. Um, but I know for sure it was a mist. Seriously. I don't know why. Okay. Next. Um, I did pick up the Wild Fig and Manuka Honey fragrance mist. It says, to lighten the scent of Wild Fig and Manuka Honey, Botanical Inspiration and Sweet Embrace. So, I I feel like it was, someone picked this up and loved it. Maybe it was like Finia McCall. I'm not really sure who exactly it was, but I feel like it was her. Um, anyways, I smelled this in store and it just smelled so good. Um, yeah. I don't usually like fig scents, especially if I like that fresh, almost headache inducing fig, but this is a sweet fig, so it's nice. Yeah, you just get the super sweet wildflower honey smell, but not super floral, and a nice fig scent. It is a beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, it's like a perfect, sweet, summery springtime scent, so really happy you got that. This one was $6.99 because it was the semi annual sale <coughs> thing. And then I got a new scent. So, uh, they're new collection has this one and two others so um it's like their aquatic collection and one the other two that I didn't get are like the super aquatic more fresh type of vibes um and this one is like <laughs> the fruity one so this is called Siren Serenade really pretty really yeah really pretty packaging I like how it's like iridescent shimmer waves in the back um the notes are iridescent pearls illuminate sunny starfruit and fresh watermelon so <laughs> Those notes are completely different what's on the front. So, including those notes, it also has ocean breeze and juicy apricot. That's funny. It's funny that, like, <laughs> the notes are completely different, but whatever. So, yeah. Spray it so I can actually smell it. Only spray a little bit. It smells really good. It is, like, you really get the ocean breeze. It's, like, a, a cottony ocean breeze type of scent. Like, almost like sea land shore, but a little more cottony and soft. Um, and then you get the apricot and... Starfruit and watermelon, so may smell a little watermelon. I'm not really sure what starfruit smells like, but I'm getting like a fruity tropical vibe, but also that fresh cottony breezy scent. It is really pretty. It, it honestly, it is like a pink cotton smell with some fruit. It smells really pretty. And I really, <laughs> really like this one. So yeah, um Victoria Seager also had another collection. It was like florals. There's like wild mariposa apricot. Um, I think that was one of them and there were like three others. I don't really like any of those in that collection so I didn't pick them up but yeah. Also, I went to the store. Um, it was the 17th because it was yesterday um, which was Saturday 17th and my 10 off 40 coupon had expired two days before that on the 15th and I was like, are you serious? Anyways, yeah, that was an interesting su surprise. I didn't try to use that Victoria's Secret, I tried to use that pink but I was like, Great. I didn't know that, but I did get some of their like $20 spring bonus cards, the $20 um, off of 50 all purchase in free mist and lotion. They gave me two. So yeah, I mean, I could use one at pink, <laughs> one at Victoria's Secret, because I would love a free mist for both and uh, if they have another six dollar sale or even eight dollar sale to get to thirty dollars or get to fifty dollars, um, isn't that hard? Especially with eight dollar sale, and then you can get 
pay $30. That's a really good, a really good deal. So yeah, I will definitely, well, it's February 21st to March 5th. So if they have a good sale between those times, I might use this if I have time to go there, but you never know. So yeah. Okay. Now let's hop into the pink items, which I am definitely the most excited for because I found goodness there. And I'll tell you the ones that I put back. Um, cause so basically I got, you know, six times five is $30. I was going to spend, um, give up to $40 so I can use my 10 off a 40 and pay $30. You know what I mean? So I had two other myths in here that I didn't buy. Um, the two other myths that I did buy were, or that I put back were the candy hearts fragrance mist and the, um, fresh and clean pop jelly. I, I really liked both of those. Um, the candy hearts one was kind of like a, I like it, but I don't love it. So I'll just throw it in to get to the amount because I liked it better than the other ones. And the fresh and clean pop jelly I did like as well. Um, it just wasn't on as high of a level as the other ones that I got. So yeah, like I said, if they have, like I say, like this or, or some clothing too, I'd probably get those too. Um, and I smelled the warm and cozy pop jelly, but it was just, it was, <laughs> it was almost a sweeter version of the regular warm and cozy. The regular warm and cozy is very sweet already. So I was like, this is kind of overwhelming my senses. It smelled good, but it was very similar in the fact it smelled, it was the exact same scent profile pretty much. Um, <laughs> but it was sweeter. So that was like, that's a little much for me. Um, anyways, let's go into the five mists that I got. So the first one is Petal Gloss. So this is their, one of their, um, oh, this is their Speak and Scent collection, it says. Uh, it says, says, in the mood for love, smells like fallen floor petals and fresh clean jeans. So <sighs> Petal Gloss, notes of Andre Pear, coconut water, and pink cotton flower. Um, and it's such a whole other guess, but this packaging is just so pretty. I really, really love their frosted packaging. I wish they bring up more collections like this because I feel like a winter collection with like some frosty bottles like that would look super cute. But yeah, so we'll smell it. Um, I did smell it in store, obviously. <laughs> I didn't just blind buy these, but but let me smell it now. So yeah, um, just like this one, you can really get that soft, like pink cotton um, smell. Just really pretty soft smell. You get the pear and I get the coconut in a very light way. So it's a very pretty, breezy, definitely springy scent. And it's just really beautiful. So very happy with that one. Again, these were $6 a piece. Um, then I got Tropical Nectar. This is from their summer line, I guess. Then uh, the, It says, oh, so summer, a tropical breeze of exotic fruits and fresh cut blooms. Anyways. Yeah, so uh, it looks like they're putting the collection names on here because I have another one from this collection. It also says Oso Summer. This is the Oso Summer collection, I think. And then this would be the Speak and Scent collection. Um, but yeah, I got this one. Tro uh, so the Tropical Breeze of Exotic Fruits and Fresh Cut Blooms. Uh, nope, so Pulpy Passion Fruit, Breezy Palms, and Mango Nectar. <laughs> I love passion fruit and mango, so it was like a perfect summer scent for me. So we'll smell it. Oh yeah. You get, it's like the bright juicy passion fruit but almost a little tart too the mango you get like that that fresh green mango almost that was really good and it says breezy palms there is a breeziness in it but it is more of that bright fresh um almost a little tart passion fruit mango scent so that was really good um it's not super strong either so it'll be perfect fruity summer scent also from that collection i got sunset gelato probably the one that everybody is talking about um, this one says a sweet creamy tree on a golden peach day. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna yawn again. Okay, every time I say it, I'm having troubles. Okay, <laughs> this has been like a mess of a video. Anyways, um, yeah, so this has notes of pistachio, gelato, caramel, drizzle, and sea salt. So this is probably the one you most heard about because we've all been asking for pistachio scents for so long. We've even been asking for the pistachio ice cream scent from Mouth Butter's Co. and Body Care. And I feel like Pink was like, yeah, we'll do that for you. Um, so yeah, we'll smell this right now. I also smell this in store. Um, that I'm not, I don't remember exactly what it smelled like. So. so yeah, it is like, it's a nutty pistachio, but very toned down. Like, um, if you think of Tarosa 62, um, where it's a hint of that pistachio-y smell, it's not it's it's kind of close to that but not as strong um it's kind of like that nutty sweet pistachio i don't really get the caramel but i kind of get a rum smell like like the rum in a tiramisu i kind of get the rum smell like that 
It honestly smells like sweet pistachio pudding with caramel and like a little bit of rum. So it smells really pretty. It also has a perfuminess in it. Like they just, they hit the, they hit the mark on this one. So I really, really love that one. Okay. Next, um, I have the new uh, signature scent, Vanilla Dream. I think they took away, I don't know, something bright. Uh, it wasn't, it was like, oh, I think Clean and Bright. That was the one they had. They took that away and they replaced it with this one, I think. Uh, anyways, the notes for Vanilla Dream are vanilla, fluffy vanilla, coconut, or <laughs> okay, fluffy vanilla, golden caramel, and coconut cloud. I actually, did I smell this one? Did I? I don't remember. Oh, I did smell it. <laughs> um, yeah, I did smell this one. I didn't at first, but then I went back and smelled it to make sure I liked it. Um, so this is a, this is reminding me, it has like a base scent that smells almost like, um, Zara's Red Temptation or MFK's Black Art Rouge 40 that type of smell. But I mean like really toned down. I mean probably like an eighth of the strength of the actual scent. Um, and then a hint of a caramel note. Not, not very much. There's a fluffiness that's kind of like that coconut. I get it now. So like it's like here I have it so. It's like an eighth of the scent power of Zara's Red Temptation. But plus more vanilla and caramel and stuff like it's kind of like if you like the scent DNA of this you'd probably love this if you think that one's too strong so yeah it's really pretty it's not super caramelly or coconutty but I do really like it um and my nose could be off I'm a little stuffed up right now so that could be part of the problem um yeah I mean I'll try to smell it again when I'm not stuffed up because you know that could be um skewing my <laughs> my sense of smell so Next, I have a flaker of <laughs> Vanilla and Dreamy. This is from the Pop Jelly Collection. So this is Pop Jelly, Vanilla, and Dreamy. So it's like their Y2K type of um, collection. So this is just a wraparound label. It's not the actual bottle, although I wish it was. I wish it was. And the collection is Y2K Wow. <laughs> it says a late 90s mix of Vanilla and Jelly Sparkle, Bubblegum, and Top 40 Tunes. So this has notes of Sweet Pear, Pink Jasmine, and Bubblegum Pop. Bubblegum Pop is literally the name of... Um, I feel like one of my favorite Beth Marks summer scents, which I know is so childish to like a bubblegum scent, but it just smells so yummy to me. Um, so yeah, I loved this when I smelled it in store because it was bubblegummy, but not super bubblegummy. It was really nice. So, oh yeah. So you get the pear and the jasmine and almost like a warm and cozy vibe with pink bubblegum. It just smells so good. <laughs> I really love it. It's like a fresher more sweet pink bubblegum smell. It smells amazing and <laughs> I'm really excited for this one. Um, yeah, I just, I love bubblegum scents, I guess. So yeah, that was everything, you know, my hair product drama and my reviews of the scents and my coupon not working. But yeah, other than that, it was a great shopping trip, but thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.